guys welcome back to my channel how do you like the background so I've been doing a little bit of rearranging and I put this shelf here that I got off uh, marketplace on Facebook and I really like it then I've got some of my Christmas decor back here I have a snowman that I painted and my Christmas gnomes and then up here on this shelf I have a little Charlie Brown brown tree and also it's a wonderful life and I just love the way it looks in here now so I'm gonna continue to do a little rearranging and maybe put a Christmas tree over here on the corner I needed to rearrange my space because so many people always ask me if why I don't have more bags in the background I guess that's what you want to see in the background but this is my office not just my filming studio but I, I think that's really pretty and I can change that up from time to time but anyway you guys I have a really exciting video I'm so sorry that I haven't been putting out two videos a week because you guys things are getting really hard my mom is not doing so well and it, I've I've been over there a lot so I just haven't had the time lately to put into my channel like I want to but I'm here today and I'm gonna try next week to put out two videos. I can't make a promise, but I do need to keep you guys updated because I had quite a few message me and ask me if I was okay and I really appreciate your guys' concern. All right guys, let's get into the video. I'm so excited because I have two unboxings. I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing and a Coach unboxing, so I know. I said I was going to try to be good until the end of the year, but you guys take anything and everything I ever say with a grain of salt. <laughs> I'm just telling you, just go ahead and take it with a grain of salt because, yes, I bought two items. One of these items totally, the fault lies with Totes Jean, you guys, because when he showed his, I was on the website looking for one, and bam, there it was, so I had to get it. And then the next item, the coach item, it's something I've been wanting for probably about a year. And I know that I am not, I mean, I do love coach, but of course I love luxury bags. But this particular bag from coach is something I have absolutely lusted after for a really long time. And I'm so excited to see it. And it is both actually our true unboxings. All right, that's enough dilly dallying. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead. Well, I actually have two other small items to show you. So yeah, let's just go ahead and let me share these items with you. Now, I'm excited. Now these came from Amazon and I will link them below. I'm obsessed, you guys. So I kind of did take a peek at these. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Balenciaga teardrop earrings that Kylie Jenner, of course, made famous her sister kendall has been wearing them i've seen them on a few celebrities the balenciaga brand they're like fifteen hundred dollars now we know that costume jewelry you know like the ones i have on the lv they're balenciaga expensive. earrings and their earrings two pair are around twelve to fifteen hundred dollars i think they come in different sizes i got some i can't say that word can i say that word i got some earrings that look like them all right and I got them from Amazon and of course you know I got the large size I saw a video where Kendall Jenner had a pair on at a basketball game so here's the gold the teardrop earrings Amazon brand and then I thought I've got to get the silver ones and they were like I don't know for both pair maybe 70 bucks so I thought I can wear them gold, silver, and I can mix and match because I like to do those, do that with these earrings I have on. Sometimes I will wear the gold or the, today I just have on silver and I like to mix and match my metals. So these are so pretty. Let me try on some for you. All right, guys. So I thought I would go ahead and put the silver pair on. Oh my goodness. I love them. I thought I'd wear the silver ones because I have on this gorgeous Brighton pendant that Keith got me many years ago and has a little saying and then also has another side with some sparkles but I like this side with the black and it says where love reigns the impossible may be attained so Keith bought me this so many years ago and I have it on today I actually have on overalls <laughs> and I just pulled the little top part down 
Oh my goodness, I love these. I love them. So yes, these are from Amazon. They look just exactly, they look just exactly like the ones that I saw Kendall Jenner wearing. And I'm not really a Kardashian fan or anything like that. I just happened to see a video and she had them on. And then I saw some other like advertisements. Oh my goodness, I love them. So I went looking for them. And of course, you know, when there's something that's really popular made by a luxury brand, you're going to be able to find the lookalike. So yeah, this is the, this is the look for less. And I love them. Okay, guys, so before I get into this unboxing, this is my bag of the week. So I've been going back and forth to my mom's. And so I take a lot of art stuff with me, spend the night. And you know what? I've just been using this and throwing my gown in there. <laughs> and I just love a tote, you guys. I was always pretty much more a tote girl than anything, especially back when I worked in the office. But I've really enjoyed using this Gucci tote and the Ophelia, Gucci Ophelia tote. I'll let you look at it one more time. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Whoop. I don't know why I don't have more Gucci in my life. Well, it's probably because Louis Vuitton. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and unbox this item from Louis Vuitton. All right, guys, I do have to put 100% 100% of the blame on you, Totes Jean. Yes, you. I love Jean, but he caused me to spend some money. So, <laughs> when he did his video and showed his item, I, I immediately went to the Louis Vuitton website. You know, I've never really been a big SLG person. I love them, but I don't buy a lot of them in multiple colors. Like, I don't even have a pochette accessoire. Accessoire, or one of those mini pochettes with the chains. I've never felt the need for them, but when I feel like I really will use something, I'll go ahead and I will buy it. So let's go ahead and open up this box. There we are, Louis Vuitton, and I didn't think I'd be doing this before Christmas anyway, but here I am unboxing an item thanks to you, Jean, but I'm really happy about it. I'm so excited to see this. He just made a very convincing argument on his video and I thought okay I have to have it so I'm going to link Jean's channel down below totes Jean he's one of my best friends here on YouTube I'm going to link his channel below so you guys go subscribe to Jean all right here we go let's just undo the bow and open up the little drawer and get the item out can you tell what it is Jean I bet you can I bet you can all right so ooh, let me let me look first. Oh my goodness. I think it's so cute. So I got this card holder that Gene showed on his channel. I love it. So it's got lots of spaces right there for gift cards, credit cards, anything you want to put back there. Then it's got a place here, another place here. Well, I don't know. You could probably even put some change back there, although I don't think I would use it for that. But I like this because it's compact, just a little compact piece. Now it does kind of stick out there on the side. I don't know. Is that normal? I mean, that one, that side's okay. That side, side sticks out a bit, but that doesn't bother me because actually I'm looking at it. The glazing looks really good on this piece and I love it, you guys. I could put cards in it. I could put business cards in it, lots of stuff. But I just had to have this little piece. When he showed his, I thought, I have to have this. Next time I go into Louis Vuitton, I'm actually gonna get my initials put on it. I have refrained from doing that a lot because I feel like in the future, one day my daughter and my granddaughters will get a lot of my stuff. But I don't know, I feel like on a little piece like this, I think it would be kind of nice to have my initials. Okay, and it's also, let me tell you the name of this item. <laughs> I have to get it together. All right. The name of this item is the Envelope Business Card Holder. And the code is M6. 3801 and Jean said they're very hard to find but I found mine right on the website so I just went ahead and added it to cart and got it immediately so you know I was able to score this beautiful little piece so yeah I, I absolutely love it all right this is the moment that I have been so excited for to open this box <gasps> yes it's a handbag you guys 
<sighs> it is. <laughs> I, and I love the style. I can't believe it actually took me this long to get it. So this is a true unboxing. Let's just go ahead and tear into this because I've actually had it for a few days just sitting up here and I haven't had time to get to it because things are really rough around here, you guys. My mom is not doing well. Thank you to everyone who has prayed because you know as bad as she is, she hasn't been in much pain. She can be uncomfortable at times, but she hasn't been in much pain, and that's my number one prayer, that she won't suffer and be in pain. And it's, it's, it's been just a really, really hard week, you guys. All right, so I'm taking the box apart, piece by piece. All right, so, yes, piece by piece. All right, guys, so, yeah, okay. I did this completely wrong. See you guys, I need to do more unboxings on my channel so I'll stay in practice, right? Because totally I have it upside down and I blew it, okay? So here it is. <laughs> Let's just get this coach box out, okay? Here it is. Here is the mutilated box. And I'll just toss it over there piece by piece. I would say I need a little more experience unboxing. Oh boy. You know, I, I have to do what I have to do for my channel, right? Okay, so here is the paperwork. Here is the coach box. Oh my goodness, so excited. Wrapped up pretty because they really do a really good job. They do way better than Louis Vuitton. Here is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful silky dust bag. This is exciting, guys. This is very exciting. Let's open up this drawstring bag and see what's inside. Okay, right off the bat, I'm a little surprised that it's not wrapped up in tons of paper, but as long as it's okay, it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at it. It is the Rogue, a solid black Rogue. The inside is kind of that beautiful caramel color on the inside. It has like a suede inside, big substantial zippers, and this is the Rogue 20. So yes, it also has this strap on the inside with the adjustable strap, and wow! Here is the way it looks on the inside. On each side, it has an area like this. And then it has like a pocket back there that snaps. And okay, so here are the shoulder straps that's attached to it. And I can take those off. You guys, this is so pretty and so classy. Oh my goodness. This is a bag that I absolutely love. And I've wanted for a long time to add a couple of different rogues in my collection and I have that little tiny rogue and cherries and I love that little thing. Of course it is tiny but I don't want a big heavy rogue so I thought a size 20 would be perfect for me. Now I don't know if this is a return or what's going on with it but you know how coach usually has every little piece wrapped up but Actually, I'm looking at it and I don't see anything wrong with it. There's no scratches. Um, this bag does have feet. I will list this in the description box below if anybody is interested. And it's not, it's not gonna be my last Rogue. I'm just gonna tell you that because I have other bags, contemporary bags, Coach and Tory Burch that I'm considering selling to get another Rogue. <laughs> I'd like to have a tan one. But you guys, right now, this is a bag that I would use like crazy. You can wear it dressy. You can just wear it as an everyday bag. And it does look like it would hold everything that I need to hold for an everyday bag. Wow, you guys. And what really I love about it is this zipper. Let me close it up and show you. It's kind of oversized. But yeah, I need to come back and do first impressions on several bags, you guys. So let me hold this over. But see how big the zipper is? And see that pretty suede? Wow, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. Now these straps are a little wonky. See that? 
but even if they were wrapped up they might be like that i think it'll be fine i'll put my stuff in there and i'll carry it like this probably most of the time i may use this depending on where i go but most of the time i feel like this bag i will just use it on my shoulders so you can even put these straps on the inside Ooh, this is gorgeous gorgeous could put it on the inside if you wanted to. I probably would not, but I just wanted to show you. So let's do a spin of the sexy beast. Beautiful, beautiful. I have a subscriber, not a subscriber, someone that came on my channel and said bags are not sexy. Well, they are to me, and I've said that before. <laughs> and I think black bags tend to be the sexiest. And I just think this is could be classy or everyday bag. I'm so excited about this rogue 20 i just can't stand it you guys and there's nothing wrong with it it could have been sitting up on a shelf i'm not sure but it is a little odd that it wasn't all wrapped up but i don't care because it looks in perfect condition i'm so excited i'm so excited okay so see i get just as excited over coach bags that i really really like styles as i do luxury bags and this bag it's not cheap you guys it was about, I think, $550. I was telling Keith about it. He said, well, go ahead and buy it. I'll get it for you. But you know what? I bought it for myself. So I did really well, well last month with my art sales. And I said, you know what? I don't want you to buy it for me. I'm going to buy it myself. So I did. So yeah, this is a good haul, you guys. These gorgeous earrings. And my Louis Vuitton case. And I can use it in here. And this beautiful black rogue. And trust me, you guys, I've carried this all week. I'm going to take some stuff out of this one and put it in this. And this is going to be my bag of the weekend. I'm stoked, you guys. It is gorgeous. Here's a nice close-up view of it. Whoops. Nice close-up view. I love the way the zipper does. I just love the style. It's a tote, but better. I'm a liar. I lied. I forgot. <laughs> it was right behind me the whole time. This is my third Rogue. And these are the same size, the Rogue 20. And I would say probably this is my favorite size. I do love my little Cherry Rogue. It's cute for summer, just running around. But these bags will hold a lot. And this one will hold a lot more because, honestly, this wicker bag, you really, you could put like an envelope or something down the side of it. But I would not. I don't think I would put anything in there. But this one, you can put things in the side and it's quite malleable. I absolutely love these bags and you guys for $550 compared to what we pay for other bags and actually like this card holder was maybe 300 with tax I can't remember over 300 maybe it was 295 550 you see what I'm saying this is a tiny little piece of canvas versus this gorgeous well constructed beautiful bag that looks really strong and durable so you see the price difference it's a it's a big difference you guys and I'm thrilled to have it but yeah I didn't I forgot about my um, wicker rogue because that's strictly a spring and summer really bag. all I have I'm gonna try to do another video this weekend, so hopefully next week I'll have two videos up. I'll see you guys in a couple of days, and I will do some reviews on a few of my bags, probably all in one video, I'm thinking. So yeah, if you guys have any requests, just let them be known in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. I'm zooming in on 6,000 really fast, and I would love to give away a painting, a Christmas painting, if I get there. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.